it comes to college athletics, you tend to think of big national brands, the screaming crowds, the star student athletes and their image. But what you may not think about are the unaffiliated student athletes who are not provided access to the same benefits that those affiliated with NCAA programs are. In order to get a better understanding of how opportunities created via programs such as NIL are influencing college sports, we sat down with Sherman Neal II, who is the Strategic Initiatives Coordinator at Washington State University. It's become one of those acronyms where people don't even know what it says sometimes, so NIL being name, image, and likeness. Um, what does that actually mean? It's the right to, right to publicity, uh, right to make money off of yourself. and. Uh, it's uh, simply um, providing somebody an opportunity to, to make money based off the work that they put into themselves. And it's, it's significant because we're, we're telling these, these athletes that you have a value. There's a dollar atta amount attached to that value. And you can now solicit you know, vendors, businesses, uh, yourself, in the marketplace uh, based on the value that you build um, on the court, outside, or on the field. Across campus, there are many levels of athletics, ranging from varsity to club, as well as intramural sports. We got in touch with intramural basketball player Austin Samuels, a sophomore at Washington State, to get his opinion on the topic and how he feels it changes college athletics. So basically, like college athletes now are able to to you know make make money off of of those things you know so they're allowed to you know do a couple of 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 basic things whether it's like you know if you're really good or something of a star football player you know you might get in like a an advertisement or something or you know have like just various local deals for local things like you can hold i read like you can hold your own um you can hold your own like camps or something for kids and like you can you can make money off that i mean i don't i don't know how people would feel about that morally in a way but you know you can at least make some money on the side for things that you do outside of the university which i personally think is is a good thing and they should have done a while ago while benefits such as NIL are generally viewed as a positive, there are still those that feel underrepresented in the world of college athletics. We spoke to junior Kat Rowley about why she feels NIL might not be the best direction for the NCAA. Personally, I'm not really a fan of NIL in general, so I don't like really any of their campaigns. Um, I think I just, I'm not a fan of it, so I kind of ignore it personally upsets me but yeah that's I just kind of ignore their things and just kind of go on because it just it, it, it really kind of just it's just to me it's not really okay or fair that they get paid when there's other people paying their way through school for them so I just I don't think it's fair and I don't think it's right that they can profit when they're going to school from for a sport and there are families like mine that endow scholarships so what makes them better than my family that's taking money out of their hard-earned income to put towards their education so they're helping two people out through school one of them is making money off of a commercial and the other one's working at the cub minimum wage job to just be able to make rent each month like i just don't think that's super fair like we pay our way through everything we pay for our own apparel our own suits our own like everything whereas the athletes obviously get everything paid for but like we don't do it for scholarship, like we pay dues for it every semester. So it doesn't affect us too much, but it's just kind of like, it'd be nice if the university would maybe like consider expanding athlete privilege privileges to the club teams because we are still traveling for and wearing the WC logo. Two sides, two very different opinions on name, image and likeness and how it affects various groups of student athletes.
While there are those who believe that the NIL system can be improved upon, there is no denying that this is the dawn of a new era in college athletics.